What's up guys? Welcome back. Amazing RC. Brian here. And today I'm very excited. I've about lost my mind for the last two hours. But I have a running truck. 1966 Chevy C10. Uh, this is the cool little die cast one I've been working on. Uh, many of you guys may know that I've done the SCX24 diecast Silverado, the diecast Bronco, and now I've got this Element Senduro 24, and it is nothing like the SCX24. Not saying that it's bad, it's just different. And I made a mistake by getting the Injora really cool uh, uh, SCX24 24 scale shocks, which do not go to this truck. Now, I've been told... I thought it was Shen, but it's not. Someone else. I've been told that there is a direct swap out for the Enduro shocks. So I am going to hunt those down and get those because that's what I want on here. But I did, in fact, get this to work. So I'm happy, but it took a lot and it's nowhere and you're done. I do have the body attached, but by two side sticky tape. Um... I little carbon fiber in the back. It is nice and straight. This is where it really needs to go. Everything works, so I'm I'm super duper jacked about that. But a lot of extra work went into it that to be quite honest with you, I'm not sure it needed all that if I were just to get the correct shocks. What I basically did was I took the heavy springs out of the Enjora shocks here. And my also, it was like a hybrid of both things. My custom shocks that I did the other day and a portion of the Enjora shocks to basically make the shock setup that I have in the front. Now, now I do have the heavy springs in the rear to kind of hold the back end of this up because remember, at some point in time, I'm probably going to do the bed, you know, because the bed's plastic. It doesn't weigh nothing. So I just got to chop all this out in here, get that up there correctly. You know, you can kind of get an idea if you flip it upside down because it'll it'll sit in there a little bit farther. But I do want to put the bed on there because I think the bed will look cool. Plus, it'll hide the little bit of electronics we have back here. But a couple things I do want to say about the Senduro 24. They are using some pretty darn good electronics. This is an extremely heavy bat or battery. This is an extremely heavy body on the front end of this truck. And... On a towel, at a standstill, I can still turn the wheels back and forth. I don't remember if that was even possible with my SCX24. I feel like I had to upgrade something to get that thing to work right once I got, or at least be moving when I would turn the wheels. So, for that, I'm very impressed. Also found out from a buddy of mine, North Carolina, he ran one of these Senduros, basically fully submerged in the water, and everything completely worked when he was done. So apparently the ESC slash receiver, all of that is waterproof. So that's exciting. So I'm going to take this little guy swimming here before too long. But first, tomorrow, I've got a doctor's appointment early in the morning. But once I get back, I'm going to take this up finally the way it is, the driveway of doom. Now, many of you guys already know I have a horrible driveway up to my nice pretty house in the mountains. And I just don't have the money to fix it. So, because it's ex ex very expensive to have somebody come out into the mountains and grade my driveway and add a bunch of rocks to it. So I've neglected to do that. So much so that I sold my little tiny sports car and got a sports utility vehicle <laughs> so that I can get up and down the driveway. But the good news about that is I have an endless supply of rock crawling courses right outside my house. So kind of a gauge that I have is to take my little 24 scale rigs and try to get from the bottom of my driveway to the top. Now, what makes this one different than my SCX24, on that I was actually running this you know little reedy two cell lipo here. This has the stock one cell lipo. Now I do know, again, my buddy North Carolina ran a two cell because he heard me talking about it and it ran fine, it actually was beast mode. I mean, this thing, he yeah, had in and out of all kinds of crazy water, mud, ruts, and it just went, and it didn't want to stop. Sounded like it was a really upset electric weed whacker. It was really cool, but this is really working good, and I'm and I'm happy with it. You know, we still got our nice little slow crawl, and it, it's nice and it's not too super bouncy, but it it works, and I'm happy about that. Doesn't matter how fast I go, how slow I go. 
I am very confident. I think the what the limitation to this is going to be tomorrow on the driveway of doom is the battery power. I don't know if I will be able to run this all the way up the driveway on one single truck. We'll see. You know, that's kind of like the barometer is my driveway of doom. But I'm happy with it. I think this thing looks great. It runs great. You, you almost can't even tell it's got the big, heavy, goofy body on it now. Um, I love how it looks when you open the hood because the steering servo and the motor are like right there. So it almost looks like the engine's in there. Everything still works. You know, doors still open. Everything, everything's got, you know, plenty of room. Nothing's rubbing as far as where, I mean, the body almost is perfect. It almost is like it was made for this. One little piece of carbon fiber and it's mounted perfectly straight. So I am extremely happy. And of course, the steering servo. It's a teeny tiny little steering servo, and this is a lot of weight. So I'm very, very happy that this is working out as good as it is. It just took an exuberant amount of work to get where I am right now. And a lot of parts that I bought and didn't use. So we're going to see if it was all worth it tomorrow. Uh, just want to get a real quick video and show you guys. I know a lot of you have been following along to the uh, die cast build that I got going on. So I really wanted to get something on tonight to show you that I did get it finished. Uh, as far as finished, I got it running. Um, but there's a couple few other very important things I have been working on. I have the video number three in my How To Hot Wheels, Custom Hot Wheels video series. That is almost done. I've got a ton of footage and stuff. And I was, I was contemplating on separating the axle video from the chassis video or putting them together because together they're they're really long and I, and I can split it at any time I want to and if it's over 20 minutes nobody wants to sit through a 20 minute video so I might split it into two and do axles first and then chassis but that's almost done all I basically have to do is my actual commentary now all the work video is completely done it's already put where it needs to be put on the big video so look out for that as well that's coming very very soon uh, special shout out to RC Birds very cool channel sticker that I got from RC Birds today. Got me three of them. One's already up on the old sticker board. And something else that's really cool is the postcard RC Birds. I had no idea it was from Germany. And I think that is really super cool. So, got mail all the way from the other side of the water. Super excited about that. I get two things I get to hang. I get the cool little RC Birds sticker. That goes up there. And then I got all my little letters up here in the corner. From, from all you guys. This is going to go up there in the letter section. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, got a couple other cool things to talk to you guys about, about Hot Wheels too. Uh, I'm going to add this in the Hot Wheels video, but I just picked up something really cool today. Uh, I found online somebody had, and you guys know the Real Riders series of Hot Wheels. It's basically the really nice Hot Wheels, premium Hot Wheels with rubber tires and super, super nice paint jobs and all that. Well, that series started in 1995, and I have one of the very first four in mint condition. I didn't pay a ton of money for it. I, I bet once 2025 comes and it's actually 30 years old, I bet you it's going to accrue in value pretty, pretty darn good. But I'm going to show that off to you guys as well. Got the Mercedes Unimog, very, very cool stuff. Uh, they had a Cadillac, Stingray, Unimog, and then a uh, some some fantasy car. But it was the first four. 1995 and Hot Wheels was actually, uh, without getting too far into it, a really good year for Hot Wheels because they brought all kinds. It got Treasure Hunt started that year. Real Riders started that year. All kinds of crazy new series. So we're going to go through all that stuff too. So definitely from the Hot Wheels guys out there, stay tuned for that as well. But tomorrow, we got the old... Driveway of Doom, Senduro 24 diecast, and I love this thing. I don't know why, it's just when, when it has a diecast body on it, it just runs, you know, like like a real like a real truck, you know? Oh, look at that. I mean the drag brake on this thing is just impressive. You know, it's not a bad rig as far as you know the stock Senduro. This was a bad idea. Uh, my buddy in North Carolina, he's got the pre-runner body, which is like the little SUV. It looks way better than this. I'm not exactly sure what they were thinking when they did this. But that was the first thing I wanted to do. I was actually going to put the Bronco body back on. I've got a, you know, at Walmart they had another Bronco body, but now they're $25. Bucks, $11. 
I still can't get over that. Guys, I hope everybody had a really, really good day. If uh, you're not subscribed, I can't imagine why. Hit that, hit that like button if you guys dig this video and uh, dig my awesome Senduro 24. But uh, I'm still going to go ahead and get the Enjora shocks just because they look so much nicer. And I can't wait to hit the driveway tomorrow. It's going to be so cool. Hope everybody has a good night. We'll see you guys very, very soon with that video and more. Until then, it's Brian, Amazing RC.